Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, this uh, is a new series called like, I don't know, 1.13 command tutorial or whatever. My friend suggest suggested it, and uh, yeah, today we're going to uh, be discussing the distance argument. So like, um, let's give ourselves a command block. Place it down, put it on repeat, chain, and yeah. So, uh, let's quickly make a area. So, we got it done, just got to name it, sign, this one will be the distance argument, there, now let's just make it function real quick. So that is done, and we click this. It says distant, ar distant, distance. <laughs> okay, I'm clearly bad at spelling distance. Distance. Yep, distance arguments works by using periods, and that is correct because I just wrote it. So let's just go back here and play some command blocks. Let's get our lever. And cool. Yeah, uh, so let's say there's a item, okay? Let's, let's go with item. So we'd uh, to determine if we're close to the item, we would use the distance argument. So if we execute. Execute as at E type equals item. Well, just execute at, at E type equals item. If entity at E type equals, nope, let's just do at A. It's easier. Run, say, player is near. So that should be it. Let's just, just keep that one. And if we throw an item, it says players near. And I'm dumb because we didn't use a distance argument at all. So, you where it says uh, entity at A. Let's get rid of this. Uh, square brackets, distance, not in caps. Distance equals dot dot five. That means if a player is five blocks uh, in a radius of five blocks, if it's near the item, 
And if you do distance one dot dot dot, well, let's just do five. That means a player outside of the distance of five blocks. If we just do five, it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of breaks. So we do dot dot five. And oh, we didn't make it run anything. We do run, say player is near. Like that. See, and when we get close to it, a player is near. So if we do five dot dot dot, see, it spams us till we get five blocks closer. And when we get outside of five blocks, it doesn't really uh it spams our chat. If we do five dot dot five, it means that a player is within five blocks. So if we go close enough, maybe five blocks. I clearly don't know my commands, so that doesn't really seem to work. But yeah, see, spams, and uh, no spams, spams, and yeah, you can make it run different functions like uh, run, I don't know, particle, and rod, two, zero, 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 Zero ten. So, see, it does particle, and when we get outside of it, it stops doing the particle. So you could do a lot of stuff with it. I'm gonna keep that, and yeah, it's gonna do that instead. And there you go. The distance argument explained and exemplified and stuff. So yeah, that is really about it. If you want to detect entities, just do execute at, let's do to an item again, type equals item. If entity IE type equals creeper, run kill at S. This will kill the uh, item if we, if the creeper get, got close to it. So let's, here's the item and uh, creeper, give it a nudge. Come on. Game rule survive, not game rule, game mode survival. Come on. See me. You see, the item will not get killed because. Uh, uh, distance equals. Well, let's just do that. That should work. Oh. And um, oh, that's why. I forgot the distance argument again. So it'd be distance distance equals five. Like kill at. S. Let's just kill at E. Top equals item distance equals one. So there we uh, get the creeper to go over here. It'll kill the item. Yep, there we go. Now it kills the item. So the commands will be in the description and. Uh, the dot dot dots will uh, also be in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching episode 1 of 1.13 Commands. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Also, uh, I'm about to live stream, so yay. Uh. That's why you see the subscriber stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That won't be there for future videos, don't worry.